Sorry, we're a couple minutes late, you guys. I don't have my lighting technician here with me tonight. That's a joke. So Matt's not here. And uh, I'm looking at it. I'm shifted around in the studio and I just I had to turn two ring lights off because it was too bright and now I can't decide. So I think what's happening is the reflection's hitting off here. So as soon as we get some paint on here, I think we'll be all right. Let's start a brand new piece of furniture tonight, guys. Let's do it. And let's go in with mermaid tail and hmm. hi hey everybody dion's here with the turquoise iris i have a brand new buffet look at this so i promised you because i've been in abstract mode i promised you that i was going to um do an abstract on the front of this buffet now this is a huge solid wood buffet um we got it locally actually and uh it's just it's tired it's tired it's in good condition but it's super tired hello everybody hi it is it's a big huge piece um and i i feel like the lighting is all wrong tonight and again i'm gonna blame it on matt because he's not here he's withholding at a pitching lesson um so we're just gonna blame him i'm so glad you're here i'm gonna get started on this and get some base coat. this is probably not gonna be a real long video because it's kind of boring it's just uh, me gonna use my vip good old faithful VIP. I, I mean, I say I have six of them, but um, I'm pouring out on my tray mermaid tail, which is this deep teal. And I'm going to come in with, um, hi, Mom Michelle. I'm going to come in with Queen Bee. I don't know that I'm going to keep that, um, that look, but again, this is the base coat, so I'm not too concerned about it. I also have blue iris and I haven't decided at what shape and what area I'm going to bring in the abstract. So, I don't know. Like, I don't, you're going to say, do you have a plan? Do you have a vision? And I'm going to say, no, <laughs> nope, I don't. I am going to pick some of my favorite colors. Okay. That's, that's about as far as I've gone tonight. I've been working on some abstract canvases for the last couple of hours, just kind of sitting in here and quiet and thinking, Planning out my December. What has everybody else been doing today? Wow, that's like whoosh, right there in your face. Cookie's painting on canvas right now. Oh, that's so good. Me and Cookie are painting together. Kind of. <laughs> so I said we would try an abstract on a piece of vintage furniture, and we'll just see where that takes us. I'm not the least bit worried. I understand this looks like stripes. It's all good. I released a new piece today, Mistletoe Kisses. It's the piece that I was working on in my Creative Connection membership. And I try to do just an exclusive tutorial for them each month. That's how we do that. And um, boy, it turned out really nice. I wish the piece was bigger because um, well, it just, I just, I like it. And I'm thinking, man, that piece was bigger. Oh, this looks funny. This looks funny. <laughs> she wants to know if Abby is in there. She is about two little reaches. If I could reach out right here, I would touch Abby's paw. If I lean over, boop, I just touched her paw. So that's how close she is to me. Yep, she's right here. Matt's not here. And uh, he's got Holden at a pitching lesson tonight. And Abby, if you don't mind handing me my spray bottle, that would be great. Do you mind if you, you, okay, she got up, but she walked to the door instead of getting me my water bottle. Ah, I think I know what happened. I think she heard her daddy. Don't step in the paint, sissy. She heard her daddy. Okay, I am actually going to get my water bottle. Because blue and yellow makes green. <laughs> Thank you, Betty. I appreciate you sharing the video. You're amazing. Hi, honey. Hello. I just started. How's it going? I didn't miss anything, did I? Nope. I was just making crazy stripes on this piece of furniture. Oh, no. I asked Abby for the water bottle. She failed miserably. And there you are. Here I am. Here you are. We're getting started on this buffet. Matt brought it in here today and took the hardware off for me like a champ. Job well done. 
So are we doing abstract or what? Are, what well, are we, we doing? gotta get the well. Yeah, this is totally freaky right now. Um, but right now I'm just getting some colors on because we are doing abstract. You know, we've got to layer crazy colors. I got to keep them on their toes so they don't. Ex are we doing circus tent or what are we doing? What's the theme we got? Circus going tent. In? Nice, nice. It's a good way to go. Hi, Rob. Hi, Lolly. Hi, Bobby. It's a nice way to go, Woods. Thanks. So I did a TikTok video a second ago, right? A reels and a TikTok. And I had two canvases, two brushes, two hands. And I'm painting on two different canvases. And the reason I'm doing that is not to look crazy, but I can't think. I don't have time to think. I have to really concentrate on just movement and just see what happens. It was so much fun. It's the second time I've tried to do that before. Um, but if you haven't seen that, that's on the Turquoise Iris Journal. Uh, Instagram and on Tiki Talks if you're there. <laughs> Hello over there on YouTube, Michelle says. Thanks for being here, you guys. We're starting a new piece. This is just the base coat. So these are the colors that are going to peek through underneath. Unexpected, total surprise, mermaid tail and queen bee. And of course, when yellow and blue combine, they make this luscious green. So um, it won't look like this. Nobody panic, but I'm getting some smooth base coat on. So I haven't decided if I want an abstract floral or just an abstract shape, or we just do like we do with the canvas. And you guys, this looks so funny. Like this makes me giggle. Ha! Huh. Rubbing your tummy and patting the head style. Exactly, Lolly. That's exactly what I was doing on the canvases. Painting at the same time as fast as I could. Uh, yep, Janae, that's exactly right. I think I'm going to ask Santa for your brushes. Hope you do. Hope you do. Has Janae been naughty or nice this year? Janae, have you been naughty or nice? Naughty or nice. Naughty or nice. Who's going to join us tomorrow night on Facebook or on our, um, who's going to join us for Friday Night Live tomorrow night? Are you, is that a question for me? No, I'm just oh. kind of, I'm just saying, is anybody going to be prepared to join us tomorrow night? Oh, we get to play our game. It's Friday night. Um, I had the, the um, did you just take the charger? I had the um, light off because I was really bright, like a second, look at me. Like I'm on the screen, I'm totally washed out, and so both of these are almost turned completely off. I think it's all that awesome lighting that I put in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it yep. is. I, I gotta get on the line here. I'm, I figured it was because I was set up a little bit differently. It is. That was causing this this to look a lot different today. True that. True that. So I've been very, very. Um, Abby, Abby wants to know: Are we guessing, or are you looking for volunteers? Tomorrow we play a game, and we are looking for people that will join us. So on Friday nights, we play a game, and Friday night, we allow you guys to come on with us. Introduce yourself. Tell us your business, if you have one, what you do. Um, just, it's all about you guys on Friday night. And... So, basically, we do like, hey, we're drawing a number between 1 and 50. Who's closest? And then if you want to, you get to join us for five, 10 minutes, whatever. And then we go on to the next person and we send out free paint. Send them out free paint to the winner of the questions. Whoever guesses the questions correct. So I know this looks crazy. This is, hey honey, I don't think I've ever done this before. This exact combination kind of makes me giggle because I know it's not gonna look like this much longer, but I think you got I think you got something going on there. I think it's especially shiny, Danielle. I think we should do a trend. Just do this on a piece and then do it and leave it? Yeah, just Whoa. leave it. Whoa, I don't I don't know if I can do that. Whoopsie, I got that. Oh um, whoops. I messed up. This is kind of hard over the doors to go sideways, but I want to keep this this stripe going on. 
All right. Irma says that looks amazing. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Very I think, nice. I think it looks cray cray, but I think Irma's trying to butter you up for something. I don't know what it is. Because so. <laughs> you think it looks terrible, Woods. Don't worry, we're getting our base coat on. You know, these underlying colors, so when we put another color on it and spray it, we kind of, it lets it fall down a little bit. And some of these colors are gonna be a surprise underneath. That's what I was doing on my canvas right before we went on. I had two small canvases and I just kept putting on paint, putting on paint, covering up and covering up and just, um, Matt, you see those canvases? This was about, these right here, like yeah. four layers of color. Nice. And of course, uh, Pam Dudley has a question. Hi, Pam. Uh, Dion, with it being shiny, with it being a shiny surface, do you put anything on it before starting to paint? No, I do not. Not with DIY paint. That's all I use. And um, DIY is so hard. The finish is so hard, um, and it will stick to just about anything. So no, I didn't sand this or anything. Uh, 1.4 to core. Matt, can you explain what the relationship is between Dion and Teespring? Uh, Teespring is, uh, so they're in conjunction with YouTube, and so they have like a partnership. So anybody that has a YouTube channel over a certain number, Teespring offers a, hey, would you like to work with us and put some of your images and put some of your your work on here and then Teespring gives me a commission for the sales that come from off of my YouTube channel. I hope that makes sense. Irma says you're right Matt, I am running, I'm out of a little black dress. <laughs> Irma needs a little black dress honey and not like literally a little black dress to paint. These little things are in my way, yes. I get it. That's pretty clever, young lady, Miss Irma. Pretty clever. Uh, Danielle, uh, it doesn't look like the paint is separating, though. When I try to paint on shiny like that, I get resist. No, sister, not at all. It's not. Pull, it's not at all. It's 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 great, but you can tell it's a super shiny piece, um, and I didn't do any sanding. Uh, maybe you're using too much paint or not enough. I don't know. Uh, she just wanted to make sure they weren't ripping you off or anything. Who? Uh, 144 Decor. Question about Teespring. Oh, no, they pay me. Or they like, you know, you get like, I don't know, $10 for a sale. And then um, they set up an account that way with you and pay you. I'd like to give a shout it's out just, to uh, Mitzi Miller. Hi, Mitzi Miller. She's over there on the tubes. She says, love your stuff. Just saw you first time yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Where you been, girl? <laughs> Where you been? She's been surfing the web. She's been surfing the web. She's been on the line. Well, I'm on my 10th year. 2021 will be my 11th year of painting furniture. And... Uh, this is crazy. You got to give me time to let me prove this to you that it won't look like this forever. Um, you can find me on all social media platforms, but I come on here right now. I'm coming on here every day. Otherwise, we'll go back to to three or four times a week um, and paint with you, whether on canvas or on furniture. Um, guys, I have a new show coming on the Turquoise Iris Journal Facebook page, um, starting every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. What are we going to do? We're going to go on live again. Uh, live. So it'll be, I'll have a guest um, that will actually be teaching us how to do something. So this is going to be on the journal Facebook page. So make sure you're following over there on Facebook. Starting this Tuesday, we will have a journal spotlight. And that's the name of the show. It's going to be every morning, 11 a.m., every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Um, I will also send you an email in your inbox to remind you of that. Um, but we are going to be bringing in some of, like some of the people that have submitted to the journal and we don't have a space for them. I still want to be able to feature them. And so we're either going to put them on the blog post or we're going to, we're going to do all these different avenues. So we might just bring them on the live with us um, and teach me how to do something or teach you how to do something. Um, so hi, hi, my Marlis. Love you bunches too. I uh, want to give a shout out to, uh, I hope I say this right. If I don't, I apologize. Rupinit. 
Car. Hi. She says, hello from India. Hello from India. I'm so glad you're here. Is that YouTube or Facebook, baby? That would be the books. Okay. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm starting a new piece of furniture, and it looks wild and crazy right now, but I don't plan on letting it stay that way. I told everybody over the last couple of weeks that I would do a piece of furniture and put an abstract look on there because I've been in total abstract mode for my canvases right now. Your brain's kind of abstract. Well, I do like you. It's true. I know. You've liked me for a little while. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Most of my life. Uh-oh. Hello, Lady and Matt. Brittany. Hello, Kathy Hello. Anderson. Good day, my friend. Good day. Good day. Australia is representing in the his house tonight. I wonder what country will represent tomorrow night on on uh i know we've kind of gone through that little you know it's kind of made it kind of kind of regional around the world regional you know what yesterday guys i interviewed on the so we had a podcast come out today with aaron shearer of with love aaron and uh it was really good i matt you listened to it today, i did i liked you? it a lot it's good yeah so aaron did a wonderful job sharing her story of overcoming uh so many obstacles bad choices she said when she was younger <clears throat> drug addiction and you know she's a beautiful mother of three right now and uh, so honored that she had shared her story in the journal as well as the podcast. Well, uh, next week we have Angela with Color in the Water. She's coming on the podcast. And then we have Vicki Bentley from the UK, and she is Taddy to Natty Furniture, Taddy to Natty Furniture on the UK, in the UK. Um, and I featured her also in the journal. And um, she was from Dorsey, UK. And she was talking about her favorite place to visit is the Jurassic Sea Line or the Jurassic Shore. Didn't know. Didn't know Jurassic was a real seashore. See, what was it? It was a real shoreline. Correct. I didn't know. That's good. I thought it was just a movie. And she was just a beautiful person talking, and I just had such a wonderful visit with her. So her podcast will come out in a couple of weeks. But, guys, I would love for you to check out the podcast. It's actually, it gives me the giggles because it's growing faster than anything else that I'm doing, uh, which I know that podcasts are popular, but I didn't know how much people were listening to podcasts. Um, but the podcast is growing really, really rapidly. Um, and so for that, I thank you for supporting my guests as well as myself. Um, Alice O'Keefe, I would like to see you load your brush. How you load your brush. All right. Well, I was just about, I had one more stroke, but hang on. Let me pour some more out. Usually I do show that, so I apologize. We got she paints us in the house tonight. What's up, my girl? Okay, so I have this tray right here, and I have my brush right here. This is the VIP. It's the most important brush you could have as a furniture artist. So I have the queen bee, and I'm tapping it there, and then I'm going to get the mermaid tail. I'm going to keep working the colors until they meet in the middle. Of course, yellow and blue make green. So this is wild. It won't stay that way. I mean, it might be wild, but it won't be this type of wild. West coast of England. Yes. I didn't even know this story. All and right. So now it looks like this. Yeah. Wonderful voice to listen to. Wonderful voice. Matt has a thing for voices. I don't know. It's a weird thing I've got. No, it's not just you. It's, it's not everybody's me. like that, babe. Okay. I was just teasing right. you. We've only lived one place, guys. We're very sheltered. So we don't hear a lot of accents other than ones that sound just like ours. Um, okay, so we're obviously not going to leave it like this. I told you this would probably be a little bit short. Um, I would turn it, but I don't have a whole lot of room. Um, I told you guys I was going to be working on abstract. Now, I don't know if it will stay that way, but we'll start coming in with more colors. Um, I've been in abstract mode um you know for so long so let me show you how this turned out the other night okay not to say we're going to take this piece of furniture to look just like this but if i could get two or three really large flowers abstract style on this piece of furniture um this was the one we worked on we kind of took a direction of birds and i said nope i can't do it um, and then went a different direction. So, I 
I will be bringing in more color, more layers, more drips, more watered down. I think I'm going to get out that. Do you remember that lavender that we mixed up with the mica paint the other day? So there's a lot of things that are going to go here. But I know right now this looks like an absolute hot mess. Please trust me. Hang in there. Don't give up on me. Um, loving my new series. Thank you, Kathy. In England, you can tell almost to the city where someone is from by their accent. Really? Thank you. She paints. Your international guests have been great. I know. It could be a wild and crazy piece. I love it. Thank you, Janae. Um, like I said, I have to do the sides, but I would have to move it out. And I'm just not sure I have the strength for for that to, although I should because I have paint on my tray. Okay, but just let me try. Would okay. you like any help? Up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm all right. You good? Yeah. You got it, fancy pants? I got it. I don't know if I can get to the side though, but we'll try. Oh, you're doing good, honey. A little bit more. I'm pretty strong. A little bit more. A little bit more. Is Tom in here? No. Where is he? He needs to be here. A little bit I more. I can't. I can't. I hit the door. My room's not big enough. Yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, you can keep going. You can keep pushing it towards the door. I'm just afraid they won't be able to see it. Oh yeah, you're good. You're good there. You can see. It's, it's a it's pretty sharp angle, but it can get the gist of it. Well, I have still paint on my tray, so I might as well. Carrie G says, "Thank God for rollers." Yes. So well, we can move 150 pound pieces of furniture, right? Honey, we have a pretty little wife in the house tonight. Well, where you been? She has been incognito for a little she while. Says. Well, I'm glad you're here tonight, Anna. Every time I think of her, I think of our piece no, that we that's did. That's not Anna. I'm sorry. I just called her Anna. That was Beauty Luscious. That was Anna. That's Beauty. Yeah. yeah sorry. Uh, I think of the piece that she. Um, Which one? That we did and she had influence on was the steampunk piece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, steampunk. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Remember that steampunk yeah. piece? We both yeah. worked on that one. The red one. We had it for a while out in the garage, but it did finally sell. Mm -hmm. It did. It did. Took a while, but it did sell. It wasn't my normal, my normal look. Of course, this one might not be my normal look either. Now I'm telling I, you. I, I bet it ends up that way. <laughs> because I keep, I try to divert. I'm like divert, divert, and then I'm like, oh, go back home, girl. But still, the one that I put out today, people are telling me today that that was their favorite piece I've ever done. Okay, thank you. Catherine Miles says hi to you on a map. Hi, Everyone Catherine. in Australia is in the house tonight. Ah, so glad you guys are here. We're just putting on a base coat. I'm trying to kind of come up with a game plan to turn this piece into a large looking canvas abstract. Uh, and I'm putting on some wild color right now. And I've got blue iris. I know we're going to do blue iris next. I just am not sure how or where. I think you should probably mix in a little bit of little black dress and old school. I'm just saying. That's not even going to happen. Like not even for a second. If anything, we're going to have to get some white. Lots of white with bold color. That's where we're going with this. But these are colors I want to peek out underneath, honey. It's the only reason why we're doing this right now. Lolly says the staging was so good on the mistletoe piece. Oh, thank you. I tried, I, I did that little tutorial in the group. This was dirty. I thought this was clean. Hmm, those boys. Really? Can't seem to do anything right, can I they? I told them that you brought it in. Yeah, that thing, said, weighs, that thing weighs 5,000 pounds. I know, pounds. but you said it was clean. No, I didn't. Looks pretty clean to me. I said That's it what looks, you said. said, said looks it, pretty clean it to me. Looks pretty clean. <laughs> and and it's I'm pretty like, clean. It's pretty it's clean. It's not perfectly clean, but it's pretty clean. <laughs> um, did you ask me something, baby? I don't yeah, remember. I asked what you were going to get me for Christmas. Oh, God. I don't know. You haven't given me a good list. You haven't given me any kind of list. You gave. You told me shoes. I need some new work shoes. Like tennis shoes to work Socks in. Socks are always a great thing. I'm your wife. I don't want to get you socks. Are you going to use the mica? Robert, I am going to use the mica. Yes. 
I'm going to put mica in the white and put some of those gorgeous pastels. Good call, Rob. Absolutely. That lavender, I'm telling you what, that lavender or lilac color, I have to use that. I have to use that. So I'm going to use my DIY white, if I have any white. Man, I am so low. I've been putting all of my inventory up at Reclaimed, and I, uh, I'm i kind of low on paint, but we may have to go. We may have to go there tomorrow, Matt. Tasha Watkins says, maybe a canvas and a brush to paint a new masterpiece with. <laughs> That's a great idea, I should get Tosh. you a canvas and a brush. Great idea. I have 35 new canvases. Is that ridiculous? Mike, Michael's had such a great sale. Tarnished Pearl. Robert, I probably could use Tarnished Pearl. For some reason, that color doesn't sell at um, Reclaim Warehouse. It's like I have more of that color than anything else. So that's probably what I'll end up having to go and buy and then add the mica to it. Um, so I can get some of those bold pastels that we like or that I like. That Tiffany blue color ended up amazing. Okay, so easy peasy. Now I just yes. have to do the other side. Lolly says, yes, his very own canvas that cannot be painted over Dion. His very own <laughs> canvas that cannot be painted over Dion. Lolly? Lolly looks bad for me right now. She, Lolly's on my side tonight. What is going on here? We've been I, having, we've been having I am not used to this. We had some little conversations about about your your behavior towards me, Miss Dion. Can't I can't waste a good canvas. <laughs> <laughs> Look how crazy this piece looks. This is cracking me up. It looks so funny. Like this is why people don't show you the base coats and stuff. Or maybe I'm the only one that does wild stuff as a base. Heather Watson. If Dion bought me that stuff, I would be, it would be like the second best Christmas ever. Had. What? She says, my husband won't give me ideas either. He's getting a chipping club for golf, a new office chair, socks, tees, and underwear. That will teach him. I don't know, Heather. He may really enjoy that stuff. <laughs> no, I don't think I have room here. No. Sorry, guys. I don't have room. I have it over here because I have canvases and everything set up over here. I don't want to move them. Lolly says, sorry, I blacked out. I know. <laughs> you don't paint over someone's artwork. Sorry, D. <laughs> Actually, she Actually, did. I didn't. Yeah, my son did. did. If you don't recall, my son did. Um, and so let's say Elijah instead of Dion. Okay, so Matt asked for shoes for work, and he hasn't asked for anything else. Um, he didn't tell his mom anything either, and so she's, you know, did you, do you, she's messaging me like, do you have any ideas? And I'm like, I don't know. Every year, I don't know. Abby, are you trying to say hello? Come here. Say hey, yo. Say hey. See this little scar right here, you guys? See that one right there? When she was a puppy? We had a wraparound porch with no railing, and so she was running on the wraparound porch, and she launched herself off of the porch over the knockout roses, and that was a thorn and the red roses, and it just sliced her eye, and we went to the hospital, doggy hospital, because Mama was so scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's shake. And the vet said uh, that it was so... Okay, she's about to knock me over. Daddy, come here. Well, she's going to step in paint. Um, the vet said it was so close to a nerve that it was a little bit dangerous, but he got the he got the stitches out. <laughs> oh, Heather, there you go. Work shoes. That's what he asked for. I still like to get nice socks. I actually do. I do. I don't actually like spending money on socks. Okay. Abby, come here. Abby, come back up. Come back up. She's like, beep, 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 beep. beep, beep. Oh no, she's gonna do the turn. Uh, I don't think there's clearance for the oh, turn. <laughs> she about got paint all over her tush. Oh, this room isn't big enough for all of the things. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I told you it would just be kind of probably a short night. Uh, this is wild and crazy, but it won't stay this way. Trust me, don't give up on me. Don't unfollow me now. Give me one more chance to prove to you. You don't maybe, need to unfollow maybe should, maybe should. Yeah, give me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah. I probably won't do a whole lot of painting tomorrow. But Saturday, I have Anissa Moriarty, no, Anissa Perry, excuse me, coming on with me of Nissa Nat. 
um, because she's also in the Empowered by Design coaching group. So she's my next lady that's joining us. So Saturday at 8.30 Central Time. If you're in the YouTube group, uh, Matt and I will be on that night also around 5.30. Um, she and Cinco need to have a doggy date, says she paints. <laughs> she's a pretty girl. Um, so that's what's going on. Tomorrow's Friday Night Live, 8.30. Saturday is Anissa Perry from this and that. And then Sunday, I'll be back to absolutely make this look different. And it could get, it's going to get crazier before it gets better. Just hang on. Uh, everybody have a great day. I hope that you all have um, a wonderful Friday. Get Matt a nickname generator. Here you go. <laughs> Spins it out and spills it out. You are kind of like a Rolodex. Bada bing. Nicknames. You just aged yourself. Rolodex. What's wrong with a Rolodex? We don't use those anymore. Everybody, good night. I will see you tomorrow. See ya. See ya.